Hello, the Cocos 2D version of the Rube sample loader has been updated to make it a little bit easier for people using Cocos 2D version, Cocos 2D version 2. Um, some people in the forums pointed out that although there wasn't too many changes necessary, it's still a bit of a headache to get everything sorted out if you're using version 2 when the existing sample code was based on Cocos 2D version 1. So what I've done is I've actually taken the Cocos 2D source code itself out of the sample loader download altogether so you'll have to get that yourself and the only thing that I've left in there is the actual files that are needed for the rube loader itself which I've just downloaded here myself and I'll unzip this so we can see what's in it and we have some setup notes here which is what I'm about to show you so um, if you not watching this video, well you are watching this video aren't you, but if you were not watching this video you could probably get by with these notes, but uh, I thought I'd make a video anyway. Um, and I've also included in this new update some uh, another class which helps you set up screens for menus, uh, user interface and so on. And I'll make another video to explain that, but that's what this menu screen notes um, file is and in the source folder we have uh, just the source code files and some resources for the demos that are included so as you can see there's no Cocoa Studio source code itself here um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to make both examples in this video Cocoa Studio versions 1 and 2 and I'll go through setting up a project using these um, classes here and the first step is exactly the same or the first few steps are the same for versions 1 and 2 uh, basically what we need to do is set up the template and then we need to replace the box 2d that is in the template with the newer version from box 2d subversion which is pretty easy and then we drop all these files into our project and um, there's not really that much more to it but um, at a certain point along the way uh, I will make a mention that um, from here on Cocos 2D version 1 and 2 are a little bit different so uh, anyway let's let's get started with the part that's the same for both versions uh, so we're going to Xcode and we'll create a new Xcode project and as you can see I've been doing a lot of checks to make sure this works, so I hope it works and I'll, we will do Cocos 2D version 1 first so we select the template category and then uh, Cocos 2D box 2D template and next and I'm going to call this Rube Loader for Cocos 2D version 1 and I'm going to save that in the same folder that I just had that zip file there eventually okay so now we have a a project and first thing to do is come into the box 2d folder here and just delete that because we're going to replace it all together and then also on disk come into the libs folder of the project that we just made and delete this box2d folder notice that this folder is the one that contains the box2d.h file so this is the one folder that we want to replace it with from subversion so I'll delete that uh, to get the box2d source code from subversion is pretty simple I'll just go into my sample set up notes fi file here because I have the subversion command that I need to run in terminal to get the latest box 2D source code so I'll copy that and then in terminal I will CD into this folder that we're in and then I'll run that source code um, com command line there to check out the latest box to source and we'll see that that 
um, puts itself in a folder called box2d read only there you can change that name to whatever you like I guess and then quit terminal so inside here we come into the folder here and we find the same folder that has box2d.h that's the folder that we need to replace right uh, so I'll copy that and then back in my project in the libs folder again we paste that whole folder into here and then we need to add it back into the Xcode project so we go like that and I'll drop it into the libs category and for all of these things that we're adding except for the very last one uh, we want to do create groups for any added folders so okay so that's the box 2d source code replaced now we need to drop in all of the rube sample loader files so back in the download folder uh, we select everything in the source folder here and copy that and drop that into the main folder of the Xcode project so that's where all the other source code files are here and the resources folder and when we paste this in here uh, because the resources folder is already there and we are writing into that we will be asked if we want to replace it or merge and we want to merge to keep all the fo files that are already there and add our own new ones um, and now that we've added these new class files to our project we also need to make sure that Xcode knows about them and unfortunately they don't remain in the selected state here like they do on Windows so we can't well we can but it's a bit of a pain in the ass to figure out which ones we just added here so actually the easiest way to do it is to right click in the Xcode project here and choose add files to the project and then we'll see some of them are grey and some of them are black text here and the ones in black text are the ones that are not already in the project so we can just go down here selecting all of the black ones except for that one that, so that's all the files and as for folders we also need rube stuff because this contains some um, source code files as well resources we'll add separately so this is not uh, source code stuff so that's add and then to add the resources we come into finder and in the resources folder we will select all of the JSON files these are the rube scenes that we're going to load and also the sounds folder and I will drop those into the resources subgroup here like this and create groups finish and then finally we need to add this images folder as well uh, this images folder is added a little bit differently because the JSON uh, this Rube scenes here are expecting to find their images in a path inside the bundle under this images folder so when we add this to the project this time we create folder references because this will preserve that images folder inside the bundle when we build the uh, when we build the app okay now um, we still have the all the original files from the template but we don't want this hello world layer because this, this is um, the layer that the template uses to uh, set up its scene we're not going to use that one because we have our own one that we just added so I will remove the hello world layer and then <coughs> we're going to use this layer here examples menu layer so in the app delicate dot mm instead of hello world layer we are going to import numbers menu and there will also be one place down here where that is used and we need to replace hello world also down here 
examples menu there. Okay. Um, at this point, it becomes a little bit different for Cocos TD version 1 and for version 2. Um, in fact, for version 2, pretty much there's nothing much else to do. Uh, for Cocos TD version 1, we also have to make a couple of tiny little changes to this GLES render class here because this was set up to use the older version of Box2D rather than the one that we just pulled from Subversion. So um, I'm just going to build this. I know where the errors are going to be but um, you might find it easy just to build it and let the compiler show you where the problems turn up. Okay so the first one is here B B2 debug drawer is no longer called that it's just called B2 draw and the other ones are here uh, the contents of this B2 transform class has changed a little bit so instead of position we now have P and instead of R column 1 we now have Q get X axis and instead of R column 2 we have Q get Y axis now I think we should be able to build the project with no errors um, there's a few warnings here I'm not going to deal with those because I think these are just a consequence of me using Xcode 4 here when the older template was set up to use Xcode 3 I'm not really sure uh, but they're nothing to do with Rube or the sample loader code specifically so I'm not going to bother with them uh, anyway so so that's it let's see if we can run this properly eventually okay right so uh, we have a bunch of things in our examples menu layer and just check that they're loading in properly and you can use the mouse in the um, basic layer to pull things around images should be loading okay um, destroying bodies basically uh, you, you may have seen these before if, you've, uh, if you're familiar with Rube at all the bottom two ones here have been added for this update and there's nothing exciting in here but in the video in the next video after this one I'll explain how you can s use Rube to set up a menu with buttons and so on and also to oh okay okay so another th another thing that you probably want to do with Cocoa Studio version 1 uh, there's a couple more lines that we could add to the app delegate so that the orientation follows the current orientation of the device so let's let's add those uh, and you'll also note okay there's <laughs> two things to add so one is to the device orientation fix and another thing is that in its current state you will not be able to use multi-touch on these views so you won't be able to use pinch zoom to uh, scale the scene and zoom around and move it around and so on so let's go back into the um, app delegate and add those so at the end of the application did finish launching function to enable multi-touch we can do this uh, that so this uh, lets us do multi-touch and a little bit above that where instead of adding this sub view here we can do set root view controller to view controller so uh, I don't totally understand this one by the way but uh, adding these two lines here is sufficient to get the multi-touch working and to um, make the device oh, at least 
when it detects that it's changed then it will rotate properly. So now the menu is up the right way and um, oh okay so I'm going to show you this one. So this is just using Rube to um, attach images to bodies with some joints and we can make some basic user interface components here and the buttons do various things. So I'll go over this in the next video. Um, so at this point I have covered the version 1 setup and version 2 Mm, you know, I don't, I don't know if that really needs covering. Um, let me just remind myself what the difference was. I kind of forgot. Uh, what was the difference? Oh yes. Uh, Okay, so uh, I, I don't think I'll cover it because the only difference is that in appdelegate.mm um, Cocos 2D version 2, instead of having just the hello world layer as the layer, the main layer for the app when you set up the template, there's also this intro layer as well. So for Cocos 2D version 2, you'll have to remove hello world layer and intro layer and in app delegate mm you'll change intro layer to examples menu layer instead of hello world layer so that's all there is really okay um, I think that's about it and hopefully that's not too hard to follow and uh, I, I think it's a little bit um, easier for the future because this download now doesn't depend on any particular version of Cocos 2D um, so you might find it a little bit more convenient rather than the older way that it was where the I had the Cocoa Studio source code in this download and then you had to sort of try and figure out how to um, upgrade it to version 2. Anyway, um, if you have any questions or anything just uh, jump onto the forums and ask. Right, thanks for watching.